I don't treat these things like, you know, I had a conversation where Kevin Spacey was at the dinner table when I came down from a hotel room and I had a very long conversation with Kevin Spacey. I will not detail because I don't do that uh, as to what we discussed, mm -hmm. but we talked very specifically about him being canceled. And I don't think that the world has heard that story in part because there is a, a very strong sense that he has to be outgrouped. And as a result, you know, I mean, do we want, do, do we want to disavow the space program because it touched Werner von Braun? Do we want to disavow quantum mechanics because Pascal Jordan and Werner Heisenberg passed through it? Is Aaron Fest's theorem false because he murdered his child? No. I mean, at what point do we recognize that we are the problem? Humans are humans. And there is no perfect there, there is no perfect group of people, even all of the most oppressed people, the supposed victims of the world, who we now have fetishized into thinking that they're all oracles because their lived experience informs us and their pain is more salient than everyone else's pain. Those people aren't necessarily great people. You yeah. know, it's, it's like none, none of us, we, so, can't, we can't do this in this fashion. So when we sit down to have a conversation across the table from somebody, you should be willing to like you should not have NPR in your mind. You should be willing to take the full risk and to see the good in the person without with limited information and to do your best to understand that person. Everybody is entitled to a hypocrisy budget. I don't believe this is of institutions. Yeah. Okay. Everybody is entitled to a certain amount of screwing up in life. You're entitled to a mendacity budget. You're entitled to an aggression budget. The idea of getting rid of everybody <laughs> is, you know, people haven't even blown through their budgets and we're already. Yeah, I, I think about, for example, one person, um, I'd be curious to get your thoughts about Alex Jones. Let's not talk about Alex Jones for a second. Let's talk about the National Enquirer. <laughs> uh -huh. Is everything the National Enquirer says false? Uh, no. Okay, do you remember the John Edwards story? Uh, did you cheat on his wife? Sorry, I he had a remember. child from an extramarital affair. Yes. I believe that the National Enquirer broke the story. And then what does the New York Times do? The New York Times, I think, is allowed to report that the National Enquirer is making a claim. That way they don't have to substantiate the story. Right. So why is the New York Times talking to Mike Cernovich or using the National Enquirer as a source? Are they using Alex Jones as a source? Who... Here's the big problem that we're having. Mm -hmm. Why are certain people entitled to talk to everybody and other people are entitled to talk to no one? I don't really understand this. This is an indulgence system. This is how the Catholic Church used to do things. It's hard to fight the system because the reason you don't talk to Alex Jones is because the platforms on which we do the communication will will deplatform, will well, remove but, you. But I'm not platformed. It. I used to I used to do NPR and I used to do the News Hour mm -hmm. and I used to provide stories to Washington Post, New York Times. That has gone away. They've circled the wagons closer and closer, and more of us are unacceptable. And right now, I have no question that they're going through anybody who has a platform trying to say, okay, what do we have against that person in case we need to shut that down? We have to make a different decision, Lex. And the different decision is that it doesn't matter how many times uh, Joe said the N-word. It doesn't matter that somebody else, you know, like with mathematical theorems, if the worst person in the world proves a mathematical theorem, like the Unabomber, we can't undo the theorem. Yeah. You know, and, and I, I point out Charles Manson's song, uh, Look at Your Game Girl, is an amazing song. It's a really good song. I don't think it's one of the greatest songs ever, but it happens that he wasn't a no talent. And, you know, I don't know how Hitler was as an artist. It's actually not bad. Okay. We've got to get past this. We've got to get past this idea that we're going to purge ourselves of our badness. And we're just going to, it, this is like, a, I've yeah. likened it to teenage girls and cutting. We're just, all we're doing is destroying ourselves in search of perfection. And the answer is no, we're not perfect. We're flawed. We're screwed up. And we've always been this way. And we're not going to silence everyone who you can point a laser beam at and say, well, that person, look at how bad that person is. If we do that, kiss the whole thing goodbye. We might as well just, let's learn Chinese. 
But there is an art to having those messy conversations, whether with with Alex or anybody else. Okay, it's, let's talk about Alex. Yeah, there's particular stuff that Alex does that's absolutely nauseating, and there's other stuff that he's doing that's funny. The methodology of of the way he carries, and like, sometimes he's talking about the truth, yeah. and sometimes he's talking about a conspiracy theory. His variance is incredibly high. The right way to approach Alex Jones or James O'Keefe or the National Enquirer or anything you don't like is to say, great, go long short. What's that mean? Well, if you invest in a mutual fund, all the stocks in the mutual fund are held long. Mm -hmm. But if you invest in a hedge fund, you do something called relative value trade. It's like, well, are you long tech or short tech? Well, actually, I'm long Microsoft and I'm short Google. Why is that? oh, because I believe Google got way too much attention and that Microsoft has been unfairly maligned. And so this is really a play on legacy tech over more modern tech. Mm -hmm. Okay, which part of Alex Jones are you long and which part are you short? One of the things that should be a requirement for being a reporter is like, what what did Donald Trump do that was good? Right. Nothing. Okay, then you're not a reporter. What did Hitler do that was good? The Rosenstrasse pro protest. Non-Jewish women campaign for their Jewish men to be returned home to them from certain death almost in death camps. It should have been that not, there were no death camps. It should have been that everybody was returned home. But you know what? The fact that the, the women of the Rosenstrasse protest, I mean, sorry, I get very emotional about this. You know, some of the baddest ass chicks in the world got their husbands returned to them. Kola Kavod. And not, I'm not celebrating Hitler. Hitler's the worst of the worst. But God damn it, you know, this idea that we can just say everything that person does is a lie, everything that person does is evil. This reflects a simplicity of mind that humanity cannot afford. Is, is Google evil, evil because it will sell you Mein Kampf? Is Amazon evil because it will sell you Mein Kampf? If you find out that Mein Kampf rests on somebody's bookshelves, do you have any idea what it means? If you find out that a scholar used the N-word, should that person lose their job? Come on, grow the hell up. I, I guess our responsibility to lead by example in that, because th you have to acknowledge that the fab, like the, the current... Public have discourses. somebody on your podcast who you're worried about. And but but yeah. but do it in a principled fashion. I mean, in other words, I'm not here to whitewash yeah. everything. On the other hand, if somebody makes, you know, some allegations, I don't know that I'm obligated to treat every set of allegations as if now how do you defend yourself against the no. Allegations are so cheap to make at this moment. Well, my sort of my standard, I don't know if you, maybe you could speak to it, is I don't care, like in the case of Alex Jones, for example, I don't, I'm willing to have a conversation with Alex Jones and people like him if I know he's not going to try to manipulate me. Assume that he is going to try to manipulate you. I can't, then, then we're not going to be two humans. Okay, but Lex, I want you to think well of me. I put on a jacket. I don't usually wear a jacket, okay? Um, thank you, Eric. All right. I'm trying to manipulate you. There's an entire field, no, yeah. there's an entire field that says that speech may be best thought of as an attempt to manipulate each other. This is too simplistic. Everything that we keep talking through. Yes. You know better than this. No, I disagree. I, I think okay. I think there is ways, there's, uh, of course, it's a gray area, but there is a, a threshold where your intent with which you come to a meeting to an, inter an interaction is one that is not one that's grounded in like a respect for a common humanity, like a love for each other as deeply messy. If somebody is doing really bad stuff, I expect you to try to keep them from doing really bad stuff. But, you know, just keep in mind that when I was a younger man, I saw an amazing anti-pornography document documentary and it was called Rate It X. And I don't know where it went, but the conceit of it was, we're gonna get some pornographers in front of a camera because they wanna talk, and we're gonna ask them about what they do for a living and why it's okay. 
no commentary. Okay. You could potentially, if you really think Alex Jones is the worst, and I, again, I'm not intimately familiar with him, you could decide to um, just let him talk. Now, I have decided not to do that with particular people. You know, I've spoken to Stefan Molyneux. Stefan Molyneux makes many good points, it makes many bad points, and he makes many good points in bad ways. Mm -hmm. And I worry about it, and I don't feel that it's, it's not my obligation to make sure that Stefan Molyneux has a voice on the portal. But I did stand up and say I didn't want him banned from social media. And I do think that a lot of the people who are being banned from social media were worried that they're right rather than that they're wrong. Mm 